shall we take a small moment to discuss Atari? Namely to discuss one thing about Atari and that is to kindly ask Atari to stop. Enough, I mean, it, it's not going to end well. Honestly, the best we hope now is that it will end. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm, I'm gonna do a short revision of the history of Atari using uh, a infograph that I made a bunch of years ago in a different language, so I'm gonna translate the important bits. If you want a more in-depth version of this history, then uh, go and watch the uh, Year Dot Game documentary series that we have every Saturday on the channel and we'll continue to have until uh, the end of the year. So, Atari. Founded in 1972 by Nolan Bushnell. There he is up in the corner pretending he doesn't know who Ralph Bear is. 75, they launched the Pong home console. I mean, the 72 that was the, the Pong Atari game that was very successful. Then the home console. Then in 76, it got bought out by Warner Communications. Then in 77, it launched the Atari, the very, very popular Atari 2600. And in 78, the Bushnell got canned, fired. In 1979, they launched the computer called Atari 800 and a bunch of disgruntled employees broke off and formed Activision, which was the first independent publisher. Then, in 1982, they launched the Atari 5200. After that, they, uh, they kind of launched E.T. plus a bunch of other horrible games, leading to the 1983 video game crash in the US and uh, burying a bunch of very, very hard to sell uh, video games. In 84, it changed its name to the new Atari company, shortened to Natco. There's Jason in the corner saying that that sounds familiar. And that's uh, the point where Warner sold Atari. Now, this is where things become a bit squirrely. Because a part of Atari went to the Tremel Technology Group and became the Atari Corporation. Another part of it stayed with Warner and that became our, the Atari Games, the arcade games division. And the different part went on to, uh, to Mitsubishi which was the Atari tell because they were working on a, a video telephone thing and that died just instantly. So now we have two Ataris. The Atari Corporation and Atari Games. Let's take them bit by bit. In 1985, uh, the Atari Corporation, which is the bit owned by Tremel, uh, launched the Atari ST, while uh, Warner sold the Atari games to Namco. So in 1986, we got the Atari, the Atari 70,800 from Atari Corporation. And that's when um, basically Namco left Atari to its own devices and started in 1987 to, uh, to release unauthorized Nintendo games. In 1989, the Atari Corporation released the Lynx, which failed. Then it released the Jaguar, which failed big time, and that's around when Time Warner bought Atari games, so this one. And um, after the failure of uh, the Jaguar, it happened that uh, Atari Corp was sold to uh, JT Storage Inc. 96 and it died. Also Atari Interactive got formed to distribute video games. Oh, uh, and uh, by the way, uh, Time Warner sold uh, Atari to Midway Games, and Midway Games sort of died. Uh, the Atari division became Mid -game Games, Midway Games West, and that died. And um, well, yeah, uh, both, well, the bits that were left from Atari Interactive, which was, you know, Atari Corporation, uh, became a part of... Hasbro, along with the bits from Atari Interactive, and it, it, it um, they all got bought out by Infogrames anyway, so, well, sort of, and this is when things become even dumber. <sighs> the, um, the, the US, well, Infogrames US, which is GV Interactive, becomes Atari Inc. Atari Interactive 
becomes its own separate company here and then Infogrames Europe becomes Atari Europe which then gets bought out by Namco Bandai and becomes Namco Bandai Partners and then this thing in the middle, the one, the one in Europe that one becomes Atari SA which I do think is now bankrupt because Bushnell got back to that and well the, the thing I want to point out is that none of these companies are Atari the company that we have now named Atari that is not Atari that is oh see this winding very 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 winding and very dumb dumb infograph imagine that somewhere along the line everybody involved with the original company died well I mean uh, technically Bushnell's still there in some way or another but it's basically Atari has been dead a long time see, see all, see all these, uh, these gravestones it's been dead so many times that it, it, it doesn't matter anymore this is not Atari Atari died a long time ago it's just a name a brand constantly changing hands and ending up usually with the most horrible people imaginable people that are just opportunistic vultures willing to latch into a name in the hopes that it will help them get some fast cash and then pretty much they'll kill it because they have no idea what to do with it it's not even part of their own type of business it's it's games it's not a hedge fund so now we get to the present where the current atari is sort of trying to revive atari franchises it started about four years ago something like that when the then CEO of the company Fred Chesnay said you know what we're gonna bring back asteroids and we're gonna bring it back like never before and we're gonna bring it back as it should be as a survival game this was in the post minecraft survival craze where everybody was making survival games they made one that they actually launched in early access an asteroids game where you would be um, building bases on uh, I think it was a planet or a bigger asteroid and periodically you would be bombarded by different asteroids and uh, you'd have to collect resources from them and uh, the game is now dead like it died a couple of months after it went into early access that's where the footage from I made a show about it then it was a horrible game the developer abandoned it like instantly I think that I wasn't paying them or maybe it was all just a scam from the get-go to sucker people out of their money it doesn't even have a steam store page anymore because people flagged it to death on account of it was a scam it just doesn't work you can't even enter the game without the servers also around then they um, had the amazing idea of launching what well essentially is left for dead but the characters have some skills that you will level up they called it alone in the dark illumination you know because they own alone in the dark so people would play an alone in the dark game where you're not alone and you're constantly under the light of something because you need the light to actually damage and properly kill the monsters right it was a horrible mess of a game in terms of technology back when it was released in the beta and alphas and back then this one wasn't actually abandoned by the developer which i think was pure fps or something it's apparently finished but even so even it's in finished state it's uh janky as hell to the point where you kind of have to wonder why does it only have a mostly negative reception on steam it's uh it's kind of horrible there are some good ideas in it i won't say no much like there were some good ideas in uh, superman 64 i mean you're flying as superman that's nice isn't it but at least this game got finished it's, it's still available to buy on steam and it has its own page and the servers are still functioning though it's only being played by two people then the company decided well uh, we're gonna refocus so uh, we're gonna focus on social casinos real money gambling youtube and lgbt because they think that that's not an industry you know those are people at this point i think they were just throwing out buzzwords and seeing what stuck what got their share prices to increase by just a bit by just throwing out random names random words into the ether and to be fair it worked because well, i'm gonna get it but in the meantime they uh they launched a uh, crowdfunding campaign for an atari box which is 
an AMD APU stuck in a box that sort of looks like a retro-ish inspired-ish Atari 2600 that's been delayed because there are production problems and uh, they're probably going to get sued by everybody that uh, pre-ordered one. And coming back to the buzzwords, they announced something to do with cryptocurrency with their own tokens and their own blockchain and that instantly jumped their share prices by about 50%. Atari SA because that's the, the current one that still exists. I thought it was the other one. Uh, no matter. Atari SA's share prices are at the highest point they've been in the past four years when, when they announced crappy, absolutely horrible games like Asteroid Outpost and uh, Alone in the Dark Elimination. When those games were released and everybody saw that they were absolute garbage, the price just tumbled down into oblivion. But now they've latched onto the cryptocurrency craze, something that opportunistic vultures in Wall Street and all the other various regions of the world where these animals, because I can't call them human beings, congregate to figure out new ways to drive you to the poorhouse. It's something that they love now. When they hear cryptocurrency, they instantly think, oh, we can make a bazillion gajillion dollars instantly, shaft everybody else, make so much money we're going to have to burn it to be able to actually get into our houses because there are going to be so much money everywhere and meanwhile everybody is going to be starving because we just stole everything they had that's what we do we're investment bankers we have no souls or morals we're basically satan but real those people love the idea of a cryptocurrency now they have no clue what it is they have no understanding what it can do what it's for they just see that the price of Bitcoin went from nothing to oh my god if I had invested five bucks in this right now I would be able to talk down to my boss instead of defrauding old people like he says I have to do and they're hoping that every cryptocurrency is going to do that so they're jumping on this because it's backed by Atari and hey Atari is an important name right it's it's a name that they know it's a corporation that's been around since forever it doesn't matter this is just a shambling corpse that doesn't have anything to do with the company that made games 40 years ago. And keep in mind, by that point, Atari had already been sold once. All they understand is hype. And that's driving up the price of the shares of Atari and making Atari not bankrupt again because it already went bankrupt once. Like this, this one, Atari SA, went bankrupt once a couple of years ago. It shouldn't exist anymore. But that decrepit piece of skin skin still has some value while being worn by vampires to protect them from sunlight. The horse is absolutely dead, but if you beat it enough, if you just pummel it, you may still see a spasm from an errant erratic electrical impulse caused by static. That's where we're at now with Atari. It should not exist anymore. It should stop. I'm just thankful that the trend of resurrecting old companies didn't go as far as I thought it would. Microprose is back, if you don't know, it was back about uh, four years ago. But it hasn't done anything, has it? Which, which is good. Microprose needs to stay dead and not leech, not devour the memories of the old Microprose. Yeah, THQ is coming back, but Nordic at least makes games and has an interest in making games. I mean, they brought back Red Faction Guerrilla from the clutches of Games for Windows Live. That's dedication to something that I did not expect. That just blew me away. Like, those people, yeah, they can call themselves whatever they want. They love their games. Atari? No. Atari is just a husk, an empty shell filled with speculative vultures preying upon your nostalgia. Though, honestly, does anybody have nostalgia for Atari anymore? I grew up with those games and I don't even have it. You know why? And I'm gonna tell you a secret here, though I think I've told you the secret before. Most of the games on the Atari 2600, they were horrible. They were were dreadful they were awful you think et was the worst they were all the worst but by the time et showed up the novelty had worn off so honestly 
Atari, it's time to stop. And to convince you to stop, I'm gonna sing you a song. It's a terrible song. It's a horrible song. It's sang by someone with no voice, no talent, and no one able to stop them. So I think it fits. At this point, you can either turn off the video or turn up the volume. It's your choice. But you have been warned. Goodbye. Hey there Atari, I see you're doing something crappy Would you listen for a moment and you'll make me very happy Please just stay And for a second stop and say No crap today Remember when you turned asteroids into Minecraft When you tried to make a really crappy alone in the dark game that was lame A left for dead clone with no shame There's no one else but you to blame I know you're not what you used to be Just a shell of some other company Oh, you'll ruin all you see Because you're more like a zombie Dead to everyone but me Oh, hi Atari, so you just announced your crypto and your share prices skyrocket But you're still kinda stuck in limbo because you suck Atari box just what the fuck Crowdfunding that thing was pure luck There was such hope that you would see the light of day Maybe actually come up with something people want to play but you won't do I even wrote this song for you And now we're through I know you're not what you used to be You're just a shell of some other company Oh, you'll ruin all you see Because you're more like a zombie Dead to everyone but me